name's Anthony or Big B Stats, and welcome back to Minecraft Creative Cribs, the series where I tour worlds from the Minecraft console community. I'd uh, say we're back on Marinda Panda's world. Now, where we left off, we were just about to enter the airport. Now, I'll, I've talked about this in the last episode, which the airport is just absolutely fantastic. If you didn't miss the last episode, I'll be sure to link that down below in the description. But let's talk about uh, this world more because it's filled with detail, filled with things from just all around the world, mapped out strategically built especially things from like Google or so like Google Maps to really get a feel for the realistic feeling this is amazing we also have like the rainbow floor here the airport is just amazing I, I love this so much so this is the uh, Chrysalis International Airport you gotta love that uh, not every place gives an international airport But normally the main spots of course like main airports are normally international Which means that you're able to fly into this airport from an international place uh, for the most part So here we have like the little boardwalk here. We also you can see we got some trees over here get a little bit of history We got Howard the duck. Hello Howard the duck. We also got Betty the sheep uh, Betty the sheep is right there. I was gonna say where is where's Betty at? I thought she just maybe went away just then we also got like a few concession stands here So you have Mandy's red hots and root beer <laughs> so typical right there. That's American food right there There you go, and let's go ahead and go over to this side and we have sweet treats and Candy and ice cream. So if you have a sweet tooth, this is exactly where you would go to, to, to kind of fix that sweet tooth uh, that you have. Now, it is December and I've been eating lots. I hope you all have been opening your advent calendars every day. Uh, my wife was so awesome and nice and sweet enough to actually, like she made me this really awesome advent calendar. It's like, uh, it's actually Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So uh, it's like plastered on the wall and in each one she wrote a really nice note to me in every single one also with chocolate of course and I thought that was really really sweet so hopefully you guys are opening your advent calendars every day here's the kiosk with security we also have airport security so this is like the room where they kind of check you this has also happened to me before in the airport it typically happens especially if you have a laptop at some times of course which it's it's only right which is why they ask you take your laptops out of your bags please out of your bags and always make sure that your laptop can turn on and look at it they, they've even trapped me in the security room no they're gonna take my cookies okay okay I think I think we made it through the door but yeah hopefully you guys are opening your advent calendars I've been eating tons and tons of chocolate that's why I got to that because I was talking about a sweet tooth and yes I've been having chocolate every single day so far in December and the thing is when I was actually on the trip to Berlin I missed like four days so I came back and was able to eat like four days worth of chocolate quite good Quite good, I must admit that. And there you have it. Here's also more detailed stuff in the airport where you have like the little weight things where you can weigh your bag. And also, uh, we also have, uh, what is this? The monorail? I guess you can go over here too. Ticket purchase. So we can purchase our ticket over here and kind of go on, I guess, wherever we kind of need to go. Enter monorail here. So how that also works is too, that normally in international airports or just big airports in general, you can kind of take whether it's like an air train, a train to kind of get to where you need to go. I always found that process to be quite crazy, but it, it it tends to work out and says thank you for I didn't see exactly what that was but I remember my first time ever flying I was super nervous and to think to just kind of give like a little rewind I think I talked about first flying uh, like me going on a trip uh, or so I think my first trip ever like flying was to Germany so it's crazy I'm actually living here but yeah uh, it, it was actually I was talking about uh, flying and how nervous I was I think most of you guys also gave me some tips you also talked about your flying experiences and things like that and uh, yeah the first time I flew I had to take three planes which is just crazy there's a newsstand you can't have an airport without a newsstand you got to stay up to date with everything that's going on we got terminal 6 we also go down here I right, now I'll be fair I, I'm I, well, I'm gonna here's a true confession right now is that Every time I go to the airport, I get lost. Now, I get I get extremely lost. It's always hard for me to get picked up from the airport because I never know exactly where I am. I can never figure out the right figure out the right terminals I'm in. I always get confused by that. But as you can see, you go through the little thing and then it looks like we're about to fly the fly the plane here. The plane is boarded. It is time. Boarding has now started. <laughs> All cookies, all cookies aboard, all cookies aboard. <laughs> 
pack your luggage in the overhead ca cabins. <laughs> so there you have it. They also have like uh, the little bathrooms here, which of course, you know, whenever it turns green, uh, it's free. Whenever it turns red, it's free. Or so, I, I feel like I'm the only person I actually don't like to get up on the plane that much. It's quite crazy that I can go like eight hours without getting up at all on a plane, which is just bizarre. But I guess being the fact that I'm just on a plane, it's crazy. If you ever, also a little fun fact, of course, because of the air and the altitude and that you're in the air. If you ever have like a bag of chips, it just gets completely big inside of course whenever you go into the air of course because of the pressure or so it's, it's quite funny to actually see though to be fair uh there we have terminal one uh so let's go ahead and go over here the plane was also boarded over there but i don't think we're leaving from terminal one we also got terminal three we've just passed let's go and check this one i'm also wearing the shades i look pretty cool i think that was terminal four and i don't know exactly what's down here this might actually be the exit no, this is baggage claim. Baggage claim, we got terminals one, three, and five. Oh, uh, you gotta have baggage claim. Again, I always get confused from that a lot. I mean, I think that's that's one thing that always, like, you go through baggage claims. There's a lot of confusing airports. Not every airport is the same. I will say my worst airport experience, I think we actually missed a flight, which was actually in JFK, which is actually in New York. Uh, we missed a flight, which was that the first time I've ever, 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 ever missed a flight. And the, the crazy thing about that, it, it, was, it was my wife's first time, like her parents, coming to visit my family in the US. We missed a flight, we also took a taxi, and the taxi got in a car accident while we were in the taxi. It was a very bizarre story. But it, it's always like that. Whenever you go to show someone something for the first time, it just never works out and everything goes bad. I don't know why that is. That's um, I, I talk about that a lot too. Like, let's say your, your toilet works every single day. Works perfect. I mean, your toilet, it flushes. It, it just, it, it works perfect. But the minute someone comes over that's never been to your house before and they just need to use the bathroom, your toilet stops working. It's always like that. I don't know why. Here we have the little things here that kind of like leave the planes out too it's, it's very interesting if you ever go to an airport always look out the window always be aware of your surroundings look out the window look at the plane see how you know you can see the little the the the, the kind of like how do I say this? I guess like the little cargo things, how they like kind of carry the plane out. Cause when you're in it, you're kind of just wondering, like you're thinking the plane is actually driving about, but it's actually like a little car that they put under the plane and it kind of drives out. It's very cool. It looks like that, that plane there was getting some gas uh, as well. And look at this massive, huge runway on this. I mean, this airport is, I mean, I also love the structure of the airport. That's so cool. Like the way it goes up, and down and up and down kind of like a little wave or so and we also got again we got we got the the structure here of the ground too that looks awesome it looks very very symmetrical that i must admit now I, i've learned a couple things that i am not the best symmetrical builder but i am a decent i i think i can build pretty good i'm not i'm not uh uh i i, I kind of like go symmetrical with my eyes i feel like if it looks even then it's even <laughs> we also have the helicopter bad get to the chopper now get down there's a villager he's gonna take over the world and take over the cookie Geez. No, okay, so we I, every time I see a helicopter, I just I just want to do that Arnold impression every single time. We also got like the fire trucks over here just in case anything happens. We have like a little fire department right on the side of this. How amazing is that? You, you gotta love that. You gotta have that. That's what I mean. Well thought out. Well thought out. Really love that too. And if we go over here, we also have another plane over here. I don't remember exactly which plane this is. This almost seems like it could be Southwest. Or it could be, ooh, I, I, I don't know. I, I really, I, I forget which color plane that is. There's so many cool looking planes, I must admit. And I've flown, I don't think I've ever flown on a plane that color. I've always seen it or so, but I've never, It's no, it's not, it's not Southwest. What, Southwest. It's not Southwest. I don't, oh, you guys are gonna have to comment down below. Also, Marinda, if you're watching this, please feel free to comment that plane down below. I'm gonna see it and be like, ah, that's, what it is we also got some some security i'll just say the villages are security but they're walking around here as well you guys gotta you got i guess they're the ones that's like kind of directing he's <laughs> patriots fishing villages right now i guess they're the one that's kind of um 
directing the airplanes for takeoff. That also could be the case uh, as well. But this is a pretty big runway, I guess, to also get a, an initial start for the plane too. So that was also well thought out as far as like uh, the, the size of this runway too. Like, again, you're, you're totally able to kind of like be able to just take off uh, kind of whenever you're at and, and pick up enough speed to actually start flying. It's quite crazy. Uh, but, but the fact that, you know, flying is, is, is you were able to fly is just also awesome too. I mean, you think like, cars are you know so small how come cars can't really fly and planes are so huge and they fly like it's nothing but uh of course it's built for that but uh maybe maybe we'll get to a point i don't think we'll ever get to a point with flying cars but we'll just have to see i thought in this year and this time i guess from back then you would think that you know we have flying cars there's the hs BC. We also have the the American flags. It looks like up at the very very top uh, over there. Uh, and let's go ahead and go over there. We also have a massive M uh, right there too. And we're going to follow this around as well because there's actually so much to see uh, too in this world, which which I'm sure you guys already know. There's a lot to see in this world. We also have like a little crown there uh, too. Uh, so this is like a massive, massive, I think this is a, I want to say this is a football field if I'm not mistaken and check this out at night wow now that's something I loved I love when people take night into consideration again but the fact that the world looks good at the day and also at night is just brilliant I love it a lot we also got like a little aircraft ship kind of flying over the stadium and the stadium is massive i mean the stadium is huge like and look at this you can also see the lights kind of kicking in uh, as well so of course when it turns night i guess the daylight sensors kind of kick in and that's when it starts lighting up so it doesn't just straight light up uh, we got the monarchs uh right on that that side and i don't know who's on the i guess it's on the other side the same uh thing too this is just amazing right here and, and the field is huge again totally put into perspective on how big uh and an actual field like this would actually be so amazing job it almost looks like we have like a ufo and a, and a plane kind of going over here but it, it's not it's two planes two two little uh planes that's going to drop down on the field and there you have it this will be a long this this is actually the, the, most likely this is the correct size of a field here now i think where you're on the field it always looks a little shorter than normal oh i got my peanut butter cookies it always looks a little shorter than normal but it's definitely 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 the same size as a field so i think it looks awesome amazing job on this marinda panda looks just it looks incredible it looks incredible and there's so much that's still like out there like there's so much you can do in this it's kind of bizarre we got the yards there we got one zero well 10 20 30 40 50 Wait, and then, then it kind of goes on and on and so forth. From each side, well, half and half or so. Uh, let me know what's your favorite sport down below as well. The thing is, like, I, I'm American, yes. I don't watch a lot of football. I was always into games and stuff. I never watched tons and tons of sport. And when I say football, I mean American-type football. I have been getting into watching, like, European football, soccer, uh, soccer or European football, uh, which is also just absolutely amazing, especially around the time of, like, the World Cup and things like that. It's always uh, really good. Uh, to see that as well. I, I've, got, I've actually gotten pretty interested in it to see exactly. I remember before I was like, oh, I never really watched soccer, but then I guess around the World Cup, I, I totally just started watching it and I kind of like really enjoyed it. So I kind of do watch it here and there. But I'm always so busy playing games that I always never have time to pretty much uh, watch that stuff too. If we go back here, we got some more road. There's also some more land on things to be built too. We do have to bear that in mind that there's also going to be more and more built on this world as well. So I was almost wondering, like, I wish you guys can see this. There's like a light flickering on my wall because my window is open. And there's like, uh, I think there's like, it's trash day here for some odd reason. And I can also see it like just flickering. And I'm like, what? is that right now i thought that was like totally something I, I i thought i don't know i thought an alien was coming in my room just then all right let's follow him over here again there's so much land to be built and she definitely utilizes all that land now this is all empty road here now imagine i just really wish we had cars i don't know but i feel like one day we will get to the point where you can actually drive you can physically drive something i mean we'll have the elytras sooner than later this month so that's why I, mean. I really 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 feel like that one one possible maybe if they just do bikes something simple something easy that can just kind of move along you know i mean Pretty please, pretty please. If anyone's if anyone's watching this from from 4J Mojang, just 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 give us bikes. That would be so awesome to have. 
I like how these roads kind of split on the highway too. But again, another reason why I love City Worlds, especially due to a fact like this, because they always look extremely good and here we have the map here that you can see here uh now it's not exactly what well, we did th that to look at the entire map right there and it looks crazy uh here i don't know if you guys can also hear that uh outside right now well, outside of my <laughs> outside of the room just now <laughs> i get like the trash the, the trash truck just outside just throwing containers around right now but uh the map is crazy look how big this map is and i feel like we've we haven't even checked it all out there will be a few more episodes uh on this though but uh it, it's just crazy how much is on this world and how much time is put into this world uh too so definitely be sure to message miranda pan and tell her how awesome this world is especially if you do enjoy it um as well too because it is incredible to see you know block for block no pc uh it takes a lot of credit and i still tip my hat off to all of the people that still build on xbox because a lot of xbox builders tend to move the pc that that, that was a phase two as well like a lot of pc people didn't know well i cannot understand it in one sense because you can build a lot faster on pc and that doesn't necessarily take credit away from all the xbox builders as well but xbox builders definitely uh it takes a lot to build i mean me i know myself because i do build on PC, no, wow, I do build on Xbox, um, so I have to do block for block, uh, and I like it, I like the controls of Xbox, I like building on Xbox, and this is a, a massive, massive, like, highway, runway system, I mean, this is incredible, like, the possibilities on this is gonna be insane, I think everywhere where we see land, there's gonna be something built there, there's definitely gonna be something built everywhere where we see land, uh, so just bear that in mind, that I'm almost certain in, like, probably a couple months, maybe a year, this stuff will probably be filled out, I mean, it, it's, it's an ongoing project, and it keeps you busy, and it keeps you something, uh, to do, and I love people that still tend to build on their worlds, and, to be fair, I always like to say, is the world ever really finished in Minecraft? You know, like, there's so much possibilities and so many things you can do. Is a world ever finished? You know, you never know. And here's, like, the little stand here, too. So, like, if you were to go in, I really like that a lot, too. <laughs> and we got the parking lot. Parking lot is massive, just in case you didn't, you know, see that or didn't put it to scale. Look how big this parking lot is and look how many parking spaces there is. Again, it's, it's almost on the scale that she put enough parking places to kind of fill in enough places that were kind of in the stadium. And that's what I like to see, too. Like, not only, you know, she didn't build a small parking lot because she has a huge stadium. She built a big parking lot along with a big stadium. It only makes sense. And I think that sometimes what sometimes people lack is just detail. Add detail. Take a moment and think about it. It doesn't always have to be rushed. Um, or, or, or as they would say in Germany, you can say sock sock or hop hop. It's kind of like hurry up kind of thing. It doesn't always have to be that way. You can always, you know, take your time. Detail is always important. You guys always remember that. Detail is always important in anything you do. Uh, even if it's just everyday work, everyday life in general and detail is always important you can clean up your house as best as you want but if you don't pay attention to the detail maybe clean off the dust and things like that it, it makes a difference trust me it makes a difference there was staff only over there i'm just gonna take my seat i uh, can i order one coffee please one one coffee one coffee and i'll take that to go i'll take that to go we also have the tc building over here we also have the uh the lights over there as well i think that was something just built there this almost looks like the uh kind of the train station here now she i think she's gonna redo the rails uh too but this is kind of of course how it would be on to scale it, it looks good to me i actually like it to be fair uh but i think she's gonna redo this but remember if you're not happy with some always try and redo it if, if you're not happy with it my dad always told me something important and that's also something with videos as well maybe I can leave this on the note as a little bit of advice for you guys whether you're making videos or something like that remember if you don't like it no one else is going to like it so just kind of keep that in mind whenever you're making a video or something if you're not satisfied with it do it over until you are satisfied with it and I think that definitely uh, takes a toll too on how far you're actually able to get to uh, with whatever you pursue so always give it a hundred percent hundred and ten percent shall I say why not hundred hundred and twenty percent let's put it like that hundred and twenty percent always give it hundred and twenty percent in everything you do and uh yeah but yeah it looks like we're closing in on the last bits of the episode I do want to thank all of you guys for stopping by and watching and again I want to wish you all a, a happy December I mean Christmas is coming up soon too uh which is going to be a very very cheerful time so thank <laughs> cheerful time so thank you all so much also remember on 
on the channel there should be a bell by my by my subscribers on the channel be sure to click that to stay updated when I will upload a video as well and be sure to turn on the notifications uh, to support the channel but thank you all so much for watching remember to subscribe for more and I want you all to enjoy the rest of your day and have an amazing uh, one at that and don't forget the advent calendars <laughs> and I will see you all in the next video bye